Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are doing another road trip in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This time we are taking the Mount Sterling and Catalucci, Old Catalucci Turnpike Road into the Catalucci Valley. This is a long, extremely windy, and uh, mostly unpaved route uh, to get to the Catalucci Valley. I don't think many people go this way, but we're going to give it a try. Come along with us and check it out. In this video, my wife and I drive the long twisting Mount Sterling and Catalucci Turnpike from near Cosby, Tennessee to the Catalucci Valley in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Starting out near the town of Cosby, Tennessee, this road has more twists and turns than any road deserves, so only take this adventure if your stomach can handle it. The road is paved until you reach the North Carolina border at the Appalachian Trail. From that point on, the road is unpaved gravel road, though it is easily passable to any car in good weather. We stopped for a break at the Big Creek Campground in the National Park and then continued on our way. We climbed up and over the shoulder of Mount Sterling, the highest mountain in the National Park. The trail peaks at 3,914 feet before beginning the long descent into the Catalucci Valley. Upon reaching the valley floor, we toured several historic buildings that the National Park Service has preserved to give a hint of what life was like in this remote corner of North Carolina over a hundred years ago. Here we picked up the paved road again and continued on past more historic structures to the end of the valley before taking a shorter route back onto the interstate. This was an adventuresome road trip in a more remote corner of the Great Smokies Mountains National Park. Come along with us and check it out. Sharp turn. Goodness. We are right on the boundary of the National Park. The, uh, the Smoky Mountains National Park is on our right and private property clearly is on our left here. And uh, this road kind of defines the boundary for quite a ways and uh, also skips in and out of the, the park a little bit later on. So um, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Oh, squirrel. check out the road on the map. <laughs> it's a little twisty turny. View out through the trees there. That's interesting. This uh, there's a little road that splits off here, and it's got little castle crenellations around it. Next up is the Appalachian Trail. We're gonna cross over the Appalachian Trail and also cross into North Carolina. And I believe that's where our pavement runs out. This is the Appalachian Trail, right here. We found gap is like 31 miles. <laughs> All right, downhill we go. 
rest of the way is all dirt road until we get to Cataloochee. So I think it's 14 miles of dirt road to Cataloochee, but in about a mile we'll reach the Big Creek uh, entrance to the National Park. And there's a, uh, there's a campground, National Park campground there with restrooms and, and facilities and, uh, and civilization. So <laughs> um, if you want to bail out, that's a place to do it. We're probably going to stop there and take a little break after all this twisting and turning. Okay, we have returned to civilization, and we're gonna go, uh, so Cataloochee is, says it's 16 miles straight ahead, but we're gonna go into the Big Creek area here in the National Park and uh, uh, make use of the facilities. That's the Big Creek Trail up to the Midnight Hole, which is a fun swimming spot. And there's a campground here. back to the intersection here at Big Creek. So uh, we came originally from the left, so now we're gonna go to the right to Cataloochee. So cross the bridge and off we go. This is the Mount Sterling Road because we're gonna be going around the side of Mount Sterling, which is, I think, the highest peak in the Great Smoky Mountains. We're not going to the top of it, just around the side of it. sharp. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a nice view. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we are now in the National Park. We were just kind of along the edge of it, um, and even uh, some bits where we were completely outside. But now we've uh, crossed into the park, and I think we stay in the park now most of the way. Uh, we'll see.
have been climbing, climbing, climbing up Mount Sterling. Um, we are almost to the Mount Sterling Trailhead, which is a, uh, a short way to, if you want to hike to the very top of Mount Sterling, this will get you there quickly. Yeah, here it is. This is the Mount Sterling Trailhead right here. So it's two something. What is it? How many miles 2. up there? 2.3, I think. 2.3 miles, yeah, to Mount Sterling Summit. So if you want the short way to get to the top of Mount Sterling, this is it. Of course, you had to drive up this road to get here. But. <laughs> okay, we are uh, at the Mount Sterling Trailhead, where we uh, stopped and took a little break <laughs> to untwist our brains there for a little bit. And uh, we are uh, we're about to head down into the Cataloochee Valley. So off we go. This has got to be the biggest burl I've ever seen on a tree. This is the Little Cataloochee Trailhead. So this is a, um, a popular trailhead for a hike that goes up to what used to be the community of Little Cataloochee, um, which is up on the ridge on the other side. Uh, very cool. So we are officially in the Cataloochee Valley now. a nice bridge. We have come to uh, the uh, road that takes you out to I-40 to the left. 
and uh, we're going to continue on into Catalucci to the right. And we just came from the road to Cosby, which was 26 miles, it says, and Big Creek was 14 miles. So we are, uh, we are now in Catalucci. bridge in the last one. I don't know if it's better. <laughs> Built in 1860 as a log house and siding was added in 1902. We're going to check it out. So the Park Service has set up displays here with some information on the history and people who lived here. It's very cool. Springhouse. Been restored. They used to run water in and they keep things cool by letting the water evaporate around clay pots and stuff. That was the refrigeration of the day. Blacksmith shop. Yeah, there, you know, there's stalls here. These are clearly animal stalls. That's a big barn. Quite the ramp. So cool. That's a big barn. This was obviously a hayloft.
We found a spot with good lunch potential. <laughs> we have finally reached the pavement again. Woo! <laughs> Uh, that was a long, rough stretch. But now we're in the Catalucci Valley on the paved path. So we're going to see what there is to see. They're restoring the barn there. This is the Palmer Chapel. It was built in 1903 and remodeled in 1929. We're gonna go check it out. So the stream is right here and the road used to run right along in front of the church here where you can see this trail is. Very nice. We're back on dirt road because we're almost to the end of the Catalucci Valley here. a couple more things that we missed on the way back. There's a lot of people here at the Caldwell place, so I'm not going to film too much. Really cool barn though. Looks like a spring house back here.
right, the final stop, I think, on our uh, Catalucci tour is the Beach Grove School, built in 1903. It's back here. Someone left their water bottle. That's a pretty big school. Two rooms. Very high ceilings. School desks. Most of the inkwell goes. Lay the pencil there. Books go down below on the little shelf. See? Right there. That is a very pretty bridge. Oh, this is the Boogerman Trail. I know this trail. Yeah. This is the only bridge over the stream. Ever the, all the other stream crossings are unbridged. It's famous for that. It's a muddy trail. All right, here's where we came in. Over there. But we're going out this way. We're going to take the shortcut over to I-40. Wow, that's pretty out there. There's a turkey with like six chicks. Cute. All right, that was our wild and crazy twisty turny drive into the Catalucci Valley. We are now headed out on the uh, shorter, more sane route to I-40. I think it's only 12 miles. So, and only I think three of it is, um, is unpaved. So um, it should be pretty easy. So anyway, thanks for coming along with us. It was a great drive. Talk to you later.